Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to create a rope. I'm doing it in Blender, but you can replicate the same method in any 3D software. I think you can find tons of tutorials on how to create a rope by twisting together many strings. Uh, but this video is a bit different because I'm going to create the texture and map it to my model. So the focus point here is uh, texturing and shading, but I also cover the modeling and UV really quick. And to make it fast, I'll try to point out the most important things in each section. So without further ado, let's get it started. So let's just start really quick with modeling section. One of the fastest ways to use curves. You need two curves here, circle and bezier. Circle presents the thickness of the rope and bezier line presents the overall form and shape of the rope. Once you create them both, select the bezier and go to object data properties and from geometry and then bevel, select the object and then circle. So as you see, by adjusting the circle size, I can control the thickness of the rope. I also can adjust the overall form by selecting the bezier and go to edit mode. Here, you can select the vertex and move them around. A few tips here. With extrude, you can add more segments. Just like so. Each segment has a lever. And by adjusting the lever, you can adjust the curvature. So let's do it for this one and also this one. Okay, you can also delete the segment. I'm saying segment is actually vertex. And eventually, if you select two vertices, you can connect them by pressing F. Now, Um, yeah, that's good. Now let's assume that we are happy with the overall shape of the rope. We need to create the UV, and that also is really quick. How to do that? Just right click and convert the curve to mesh. Then select one of the edge loop. It could be any of them, doesn't really matter. Normally people select the one inside and we mark it as a seam and then we go to wireframe mode, select all the faces and then unwrap and we are good to go. So basically here I showed you how to create and adjust a rope and create the UV and if you spend more time definitely you will get the desired form. So with that, let's move to the next section. In this part, I want to show you how to prepare the texture. Here I have a reference from client which is different than the rope tutorial you can find on the internet. Because majority of the tutorials show you a modeling solution. And it's creating a rope by twisting together many strings. Just like examples that I've found on Google. However, Sometimes you need to create this with texture, or I think personally, that's the most efficient way. Now, I'm a little old school and prefer to do it in Photoshop, but I believe there are ways to do it procedural too. So first thing first, you need to analyze the reference to understand the pattern. Basically, we are going to create the displacement map. In this particular case, this square area could be a good example. As you see, the lines are parallel, but they are not necessarily the same size. So for example, this line starts here and ends here. The next parallel line starts here and ends here, which is almost the same size. But the next parallel line starts here and ends here which means it is shorter. This is the same case for opposite side too. 
This leads to another point, which is the center of pattern. Take a look at this. The center is not a cross shape. Now another thing is the ups and downs in this pattern. Like for example, here, the height gradually increases and once it reached to peak, it slowly goes down. Whereas here, it suddenly goes up and remain steady till the end that falls. And we have the same thing for opposite side. Now, now that we know how this pattern works, we can do it in Photoshop. We try to create this pattern. Here, I use Shape tool, and in Fill, I select the gradient. This gradient represents the slowly increase and decrease of height. Once you're OK, you're done with it, then you can duplicate this, move it to the other side, and adjust it till you get the sort of shape like this. At the end, you may add a few more lines to each square, just in between, like this image. These are actually for the smaller details of the row. I created mine quickly, but if you spend more time and pay good attention to details, you will end, end up having more accurate shape. All right, uh, with a good texture, the only thing you need is to mix it with the ambient occlusion in order to control the cavity of the rope. So here you can see the shader prepared for this job, and here's the result. I'm using Cycle uh, to render, and my Blender version is 3.1. Um, if you're new to Blender, you need to take a couple of things into consideration. Firstly, uh, if you are to use displacement, make sure your geometry has enough polygons. Um, the easiest way is to go to Modify Properties and add Subdivision. I think Subdivision 1 or 2 should be good enough. Uh, the next thing is to ensure displacement and bump is activated in material properties. You can find this option under setting in material properties. Back in shading window, you can import your displacement texture and connect it to displacement node. Displacement node will be connected to displacement parameters of parameter of material output. Uh, the next thing is to um, connected to ambient occlusion, so uh, shift A and search for ambient occlusion, then um, uh, connect your texture to in color of ambient occlusion, then uh, connect the out color to color ramp, so you can control the cavity. You can see it here. I can easily control the cavity. And finally, um, use this output color, uh, connect it actually to the factor of two different uh, colors, one for the cavity and one for other surface. And uh, I also use the same ambient out color to control the clear coat, coat parameter of my material. I actually got a better result. Um, this is completely optional. Um, really up to you. Uh, and also, I mixed the uh, Musgrave texture noise with the color to get a better result. This one is also optional. Uh, you can try it, uh, see if you can get a better result. All right, um, hope this video was useful to you, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.